Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back to another how to video. Today we will be going through how to pray the Janaza prayer. As we know, death is an eventuality that we will all face, and whether we realize it or not, we will all be prayed upon after our passing. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul maut. Every single soul shall taste death. The performing of the Janaza prayer is considered fard kifaya, which means it is a communal duty. If someone is buried without it being performed, the whole community is held responsible. But as long as some people gather and perform it, then the obligation is removed from the community as a whole. The Janaza prayer must be performed in congregation. It is a prayer which does not consist of any bowing or prostration. The whole prayer is prayed in a standing position and consists of four takbirat. It is permissible to raise one's hands with each takbir or to do so only for the first takbir. As it was reported that Ibn Umar radiallahu an used to raise his hands with every takbir of the funeral prayer. Here are the following steps on how to pray the Janaza prayer. Number one. After the first takbir, when the Imam says Allahu Akbar, raise your hands and place them on your chest. The right hand should be on top of the left one. And then you recite A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, along with Suratul Fatiha. Any additional surah can also be recited after the Suratul Fatiha. Number two. After the second takbir, send salutations upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the same way as is done in the regular prayers. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka Hamidun Majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka Hamidun Majid. Number three. After the third takbir, sincere du'a should be made for the deceased. From the sunnah of our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the du'a Allahumma ghfir lihayyina wa mayyitina wa shahidina wa ghaibina wa saghirina wa kabirina wa dhakarina wa unthana Allahumma man ahyaytahu minna fa ahyihi ala al-islam wa man tawaffaytahu minna fa tawaffahu ala al-iman Allahumma la tahrimna ajrahu wa la tudillana ba'dahu if you do not know any du'as in the Arabic language, it is permissible to make them in the language that you speak. However, the best example is the example of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and so we should all try and make every effort to follow it as closely as possible. Number four, after the fourth takbir, the Imam will say "Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah," and the prayer is concluded. The reward. Abu Hurair radiallahu an reports that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Whoever attends the funeral procession and offers the janaza salah will get a reward equal to one qirat, and whoever accompanies it till its burial will get a reward equal to two qirat." The companions then ask, "What are two qirat?" And the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he answered, "Like two huge mountains." We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he makes us from those who follow the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and implement it. Hadha wallahu a'lam wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe and share with your friends. For more videos like this, check out our full how-to playlist in the description below. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.